Hi, I'm Karen Westfall. Welcome to the Noodle Workout. That's right. We'll take one of the most popular water toys ever invented and turn it into an effective and inexpensive piece of water exercise equipment. Here's what you'll need. A full-length noodle measuring from about 60 to 65 inches in length and two shorter pieces about 32 inches in length. The best way to get your shorter noodles is to take your full-length noodle and simply slice it in half. We'll also be using the long noodle attached with a connector. And if you don't have a connector, just tie it into a pretzel shape. Individuals with different body types and bone density may need additional buoyancy to keep them afloat in the water. If you find that the regular noodle is not sufficient, you may wish to purchase a thicker noodle or add connectors to the noodle to increase its buoyancy. We'll use the noodles for three purposes. First, to provide balance and stability. Stability is increased when the two shorter noodles are held out to the sides. Second, to provide buoyancy. We'll demonstrate some very effective aerobic exercises while holding the noodle, sitting on the noodle, and even standing on the noodle. We'll also show you some phenomenal abdominal exercises using all three noodles for added buoyancy. These are some of the most effective abdominal exercises I've ever performed in the water or on the land. And third, to add more drag and resistance to an exercise. Certain exercises can be modified to increase or decrease the level of difficulty and intensity. When appropriate, I'll be demonstrating an easier version of the exercise. Margaret will be demonstrating moderate intensity and Kim will be showing the most difficult level of intensity. It's best to watch the video a few times and try the movements the best you can on the land before trying them in the water. If you've purchased the companion audio tape, the vocal cueing will help remind you of the exercises on the video. Today's workout will include five basic arm patterns. When performed with correct alignment and technique, these movements will increase the strength and tone of the upper body muscles and also help improve posture. The ears, shoulders, and hips should stay in a vertical alignment. Think of lifting and expanding the chest while pulling the shoulder blades together and contracting the abdominals. Maintain this posture while moving the arms. The hand positions will vary. Sometimes we'll lead with the palm of the hand, other times the back of the hand, or to reduce resistance, the side of the hand. By changing the hand positions, we challenge different muscle fibers. Arm position number one begins with the upper arm next to the sides of the body. We flex the arm and then extend the arm, remembering to keep the shoulder blades tight together and the chest expanded. Arm pattern number two starts with the arms straight down to the sides. We lift them up to the surface of the water and then pull them straight down. The angle of the elbow never changes and the wrist remains rigid. Arm pattern number three begins with the arms straight to the sides, palms facing in. The arms lift up to the surface of the water and then pull straight down. Arm pattern number four begins with the palms facing forward, thumbs up. The arms come forward until the hands are directly in front of the shoulders and then the arms open. The tendency on arm pattern four is to round the back and collapse the chest. Try to keep the shoulder blades back and the chest expanded as the arms move forward. And finally, arm pattern number five is a rotation of the shoulders. So the upper arm needs to remain in front of the body and we rotate in and out. Leading with the palm on the inward rotation, back of the hand on the outward rotation. Standing tall, chest lifted, abdominals in, Pull the shoulders down. We'll alternate leg lifts, starting with the left leg. Ready, go. Take it up and down and lift and press. Now think of contracting the muscles right below your armpits, the latissimus dorsi, to keep those shoulders down throughout the workout. Two more. One more. Now legs out to the side. Here we go, alternating. The feet are flexed, knees slightly bent, and the feet remain parallel. 
Try to keep the hips directly below the shoulders. Two more like this. And now kick left heel up, taking it up and down and kick and lower. If you point the toe, you'll feel a little bit more resistance. Lift and lower, lift and lift. And now knee lift, alternate. Now Kim and Margaret will be showing optional arm patterns. It takes a little more strength. The way I'm holding those doodles makes it just a little bit better for balance and stability. But you have a choice. Two more. Side leg lift, ready, take it side. Again, try to keep those hips right below the shoulder. Abdominals in, chest lifted. Shoulder blades squeezing together. Two more like this. And now, heel to the bottom, ready, take it up and down, pushing the noodle forward. And up and down. Try to keep the thigh stationary as you bring that heel up. Two more. One more. And now rebound, knee lift, ready, take it up and down, leg a little straighter here. And make sure the heel comes down. And lift together. Lift together. Lift. Two more. One more. Side leg lift now. Take it out. Together. Side. Together. Four more. Two more. One more. Leg curl. Take it up. And together. Up. Side. Up. Four more here. And three. And two. And one. Leg curl. Left and right. Left. Right. Left. And right. Now with those noodles, you can bend one arm and straighten the other one. The lower the noodle is in the water, the more resistance is created. And now, pendulum. Side to side. Leg is straight. For added resistance, you can push those hands down. Four more. And three. And now add a hop. Side and hop. Side and hop. Side and hop. Side and hop. And now jog it out. Arms reach high and reach up. Stretch. Think of lifting your rib cage to the sky. And lift, lift, heels down. Easy jog with the legs. Now push both noodles back, thumb leading. Feel the stretch in the chest. Press and stretch. And take it four more, and three more, and two more. Now lower the noodles down, and little flip kick, left, right. Now feel the stretch in the chest. Shoulders are down. Try to bring those shoulder blades closer together. Four more here. And now take the noodle up and over, and stretch the upper back by pressing forward, then lift the chest. Forward, lift, forward. As the arms come forward, pull the rib cage down, contracting the abdominal. And now we're gonna change our half noodle for the long noodle. Place your left foot on top of the noodle. Point the toe and stretching out that hamstring. Because taking your hip bone square and for a more intense stretch, you can let that leg float forward into a modified split position. Now flex the foot and lean forward with the chest, keeping the back flat, shoulders down. Try to get your nose to your toes and your toes up to your nose. And now quarter turns for the leg is now out to the side. Abdominal in, chest lifted. And again, for a more intense stretch, just let that leg float out to the side. And now turn, one more quarter turn, flex your foot, and bring your thighs together. Squeeze your cheeks together, the ones under the water. Feel the stretch in the quadriceps. Abdominal in, squeezing tight. And now, slowly, carefully, let that leg go back. A little bit more straight. 
try to keep the left hip bone, the one that's holding that noodle up, that hip pushing forward, stretching out hip flexor. And now quarter turn, coming back around. And now grab the noodle, place your right ankle on top, point the toe, and hold it. Again, try to pull that right hip down, feeling the stretch in the hamstring and hold. For a more intense stretch, you can let that noodle come forward even more. Flex the foot and hold it. Lean forward with the chest, flexing the foot more. And now turn a quarter turn side. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Just let the leg float out if you want a more intense stretch. And hold it four, and three, and two, and one more quarter turn, flex your foot, bring your thighs together. Press the hip bones forward, contract the abdominals, and feel that stretch through the quadricep of that leg holding the noodle. And now let the noodle go back. Try not to let the hip go back, just the leg. Feel the stretch in the hip flexor, and hold it. Four more abs must be in here. And now quarter turn around. And now grab your noodle, push it down, and we'll begin our aerobic section by kicking on down to the deep end. Now if you don't have a deep end, that's okay. Most of these movements can be performed in shallow water. They're a little bit more beneficial in the deep water because of a bigger range of motion. Here we go. Grab on to the end of the noodle. Abdominals in, legs are just kicking out to the front, alternating. And now bring those legs together, open to straddle and close. Open and close, flex your feet, abdominals tight. And now we'll add the arm motion, arm pattern four, arms in and open, in, open, in, in, open and in. Now, as you progress, try to use more force and power, maintaining that range of motion. Open, close. Open and close. Open the arms a little wider, feeling the stretch in the chest, and then close those arms to the front. And take four more, and three more, and two more, and now bend the knees into the chest. Hands go over the knees and then press out. Leg press, working at both the hip joint and the knee joint. And take it in and out. Press and open. In, open. Four more here. And three, and two, and one. Now take your left leg straight, right arm straight. And we'll bring the right arm to the left leg. Flex your foot now. We need to alternate between a pointed toe and a flex foot to prevent that foot from cramping. Take it in and open. Now the abdominals are working. Tighten them. Two more. One more, let's change legs now. And take it in and open. So now your left knee is bent and your right leg is straight. And press. Eight more, you can do it. Press that arm in. And seven. And six. Five. Two more. And now push down the right side of your noodle and we'll take a straddle position. Make sure the noodle is under your chin so the back of the noodle is higher than the front. And we'll go into a cross-country ski. If you're in shallow water, you can still perform this action by just bending the knees slightly. Lead with the palms. And if you are in deep water, the longer the lever or the longer the leg, the more intense. That's it. Now, facing the palms back, we can travel forward. 
four more. And now palms facing forward, back it up. Push the water forward, keeping the wrists strong. Feet flexed and push. Four more. Now arm pattern, five A. Elbows in front of the body. Rotating, palm in, other palm in. Arm pattern number five now. Touch the needle to the front, and then palm faces out. Try to keep the hip bones right below the shoulder bone. Arm pattern now, 5A again, in. Now extend those arms out slightly. Arm pattern, 4A. So if your left leg is forward, your right arm is forward, the hands stay right below the surface. And now back to arm pattern. 2A, leading with the palms. And we'll do a hurdler action. As the leg comes forward, bend the knee. As it goes back, keep it straight. Concentrating on the extension of the knee towards the quadricep. And as the leg goes back, leg it straight. So you're working that gluteus maximum. Let's go, just eight more. Four more. And now put the hands down toward the center of the noodle. Lift that right foot up and over. Take it underneath the shoulders. Remember to keep the shoulders down, abdominals in, arms out to the side, legs near the surface. Open to a straddle, pull the water. Legs go diagonal down and together. Abdominals very tight here to protect the lower back. Knees into the chest, knees to the front, abdominals in and hold it. Faster now, straddle back, straddle back, tuck forward. Again, arms forward, arms zigzag now. And take legs back and zigzag legs forward. And now straddle the legs. As the legs go open, the elbows bend, palms leading. Out, in, and now tuck the knees in and press out. Now our feet are flexed, legs are aiming down diagonal. As the knees come in, palms lead to a bicep curl. As the legs go out, tricep extension, straddle back. Tuck forward, two straddles. Now four tucks, flexing the feet. Upper arm next to the noodle to maintain form. Straddle back. Tuck forward. Two straddles. Volume up. And knees in. And in. And in. And straddle back. And forward. And two straddles. And four tucks, leading with the palms. Two more, one more, and straddle to the back. Knees forward, two straddles, four tucks now. Two more, one more, and now push the noodle down, and take the feet up and over, until now the noodle is behind the shoulders, abdominals in, shoulders down, Legs to the side, tuck side to side, and push, and push. Now as those knees come to the chest, abdominals are tight. And let's go with three. One, and two, and three. Now half turn, little flutter kick. And now, big bicycle traveling. Side to side, tuck knees in and side, in, side, half roll, right? And now, flutter kick, a big bicycle action with those legs. Side to side, tuck, in and out, contract the abdominals. One more, 
Roll right, little clutter fix. Bicycle, travel, travel. Leg going back is straight. Leg going forward is bent. Side to side, tuck. One more. And roll. And big bicycle, pulling the leg back. Four more. Side to side, tuck. Abdominals in and push. One more. Half roll. And now, big bicycle with the leg. Press, press, press. Travel down the pool. Side to side, tuck in and push. Half roll. And now, big bicycle traveling. Shoulders down, abdominals in. Now, one side to side tuck. Hand to knee, crunching abdominals. Two more. One more. Side to side tuck. Hand to knee. Think of taking the rib cage to the hip bone as well. And now, five fast bicycle around in a circle. Half roll, other way. Side to side, tuck one time. In, hand to knee. Contracting abdominal, dropping the shoulder. Side to side, hand to knee. Two more, one more. Fast bicycle around. And the other way, make sure the shoulders are down, abdominals are tight. One more time, side to side, tuck and tuck. Hand to knee, hand to knee. Other way, ready? In and out, hand to knee. Contracting abdominals as the knee pulls in. Bicycle around. And the other way. Our next exercise will work on balance, coordination, and a little agility. Push the noodle down under your bottom. Place one foot in the center, then the other foot next to it. Carefully walk them open till they're about shoulder width apart. Try to find that balance by sculling with a hand. Knees come in, and knees push down. Knees come in and push down. This one will take some practice. In and down. And now let's try it faster. Here we go. Knees come up, up, down, up, down. If you can, think as your legs go down of pushing the arms up. And down with the arms, down with the legs. And relax, bring the noodle underneath your arms to the front and kick your way to the side of the pool. Push the noodle down and you need to sit right inside that circle. Take the connector to the back or to the side. Abdominals in, thighs are together and we're extending and flexing at the knee. Arm pattern number one. The feet are relaxed and you're pushing the legs straight with power and flex it with aggression. Come on. Pull and push. So we have a bicep curl, tricep extension, upper arm stationary. Arm pattern number two, pushing forward and back. Lead with the back of the hand and the palm. Shoulder blades squeezing together. Abdominals tight, shoulders down. Arm pattern three, lift them out to the side, up and down, up and down. Elbows just slightly bent, wrist joints are strong. And now arm pattern number four, arms go out and forward, out, forward. The chest stays expanded, Shoulder blades are squeezing together. Elbows just slightly bent. Working the chest and the back of the shoulders. Keep those legs working. Arm pattern number five. Now we're gonna rotate out and in. 
If you set your elbows right on top of that circle, it'll help stabilize them. Rotate, rotate. Palms out, palms in. And now let's try a torso twist. Now keep your upper arm next to the circle. Arm pattern 1A, alternating bicep and tricep. Push and push. Arm is straight, then it bends. When the arm is bent, it's outside the shoulder line slightly. Four more here. Arm pattern two-way, leading with the palm. Lift, lift. Keep that wrist joint long and strong. Push, push. Four more. Now arm pattern 4A. So the arm comes in front of the body, just under the surface. Thumbs are up. Abdominals are still in tight. And push. Arm pattern 5A. Keep those elbows in front of the body. Eight more here. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now push down the circle and try to take it in front of you. That's it. Now push it down and we're going to stand one foot inside the noodle. And I'll come to the shallow end for this section. And Kim will stay in the deep so we can show different levels of intensity. Push that left leg down, down, up, down, up. Pushing the arms up when the leg goes down. Now for a little more intensity, as that leg goes down, Margaret will show you the other knee coming up. In the deep end, it makes it even tougher. And changing legs. Bring the feet together inside the noodle. Change legs, knee is up and down, up, now the harder you push that leg down, the harder that hip is working, working the gluteus maximus. Keep it going, take knee up, push down, leading with the palm. And four more, a little more power on the way down. Two more, one more. And now we'll go back to our short noodle. short noodle, what you want to do is take the end underneath the arm and hold very close to the long end. And lie on your back, knees slightly forward. That's it. And now pull your hips down to a vertical position. Legs about shoulder width apart and we'll do a swivel in a suspended position. The feet are not touching the bottom of the pool. Swivel. Now for more intensity, Take the opposite arm forward. The farther that noodle is under the water, the more intense the workout. And twist, twist. Shoulders down, abdominals in. And twist, twist. Four, three, two, and one. Bottoms of the feet together, now on a diagonal, on an inclined position. Knees are open, pull the heels toward the bottom and straighten the legs and pull it in and out, in, out. As your knees come in, abdominals go in. Now for more intensity, as the knees come in, pull the noodle to the knee. In, open, in, open, in, open. Two more, and one more, and relax. Frog kick and back it up. Knees go in and close. In working the inner thighs as those legs close. Now knees come in and behind the body, and now knees in to the front. One more time, now roll to your right, and frog kick. Front to back tuck, knees in, diagonal down, in and forward, 
in, roll left. Noodles come in and open. Frog kick and close. In and close. Try to travel with it. Front to back, tuck, knees in, press diagonal down, knees in, press forward, knees in, roll left, and knees in, and close, in, and close, in, and close, front to back, tuck, knees in, press the noodle forward, press the noodle back, now roll to your right, and frog kick. And now bring those feet down, and if you're not in the shallow end, head to the shallow end. And we're going to take just one noodle and do a little jump roping now. Push the noodle down, and both feet jump over. And again. Two more. And one more. And relax. Now we'll go into our strengthening and toning section. Here we go. Standing tall, knees slightly bent, working the lats by pulling the arms straight down and control them back up again. Now for a little more resistance, you can lower your shoulders under the water. But if you're down here, you really have to contract the abdominals and squeeze the gluteals to hold the body down. And take it straight down, shoulder blades squeezing together. Abdominals in. And now bicep, tricep, a little faster. Take it in and out. Try to keep the upper arm perfectly still. Pull and push. Two more. One more. And now right arm pulls down. And this time the shoulder drops underneath the water shortening the side of the body. Pretend like there's a wall in front of you and a wall behind you and you must go straight to the side. And take it down and lift it. That's it, pulling the shoulder down to the hip and lift. And press and lift one more time. And now the other side, here we go. Shorten the side of the body. Try to keep the hips still right below the shoulders. That's it. And side crunch. And lift up. Again, side crunch. And lift up. We've got four more. Four. And lift. Abdominals must be in. And lift. Two more. And one more. Now take the right side slightly forward. And now think of taking your rib cage down between your feet. So your right rib cage is dropping, and the hand and the elbow and the shoulder drop down as a unit. Press and release. Just the right rib cage dropping down. Shoulder, elbow, and hand go with that arm. And dropping the rib cage, contracting abdominal. One more time, and press. And the other side, here we go. Drop down and lift, working the oblique, dropping the left rib cage down to the midline of the body between the knees. And lift. Again, press and lift. Four more, here we go. Press and lift. And drop it down. And one more time. And now pull the noodles in under the arms, hold on to the ends, lower down to a buoyant position with the toes on the ground. Now pelvic tilt, contract and release. A little faster now and lift and release. Pulling the hips up toward the rib cage. As you drop the feet down to the floor, you want to go into a neutral spine position so there is an arch in the back and then contract. Contract, release, contract, release. Again, pulling the hip bones toward the rib cage, and think about pulling the rib cage down to the hip bones, contracting. Two more like this. One more. And now, with just one of the short angles, hold it out to the front of the body, abdominal in, and drop the noodle down toward the thighs, and then lift up. 
and lift. The shoulder blades stay squeezing together, chest expanded, pull the arms down, and control the lift. Now if you can pull down with a little more force and speed, without compromising range of motion, you'll work a little harder. Let's try four more, and lift. And three more, abdominals in, squeeze your cheeks together. Two more, and one more time. And now bend your elbows and press the arms straight and bend. The armpits are closed, the upper arm next to the side, and press straight down and up. Your hands are a little wider than shoulder width apart, abdominals tight. And push down with power, up with control. Again, push down and lift. Keep those shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. One more time. Press. And now arms to the front. Abdominal contraction. And lift. So you're pulling your rib cage down to the hip bones. And the hand, elbow, and shoulders come down with the rib cage. So all the upper body movements are as a unit. Down. Lift those heels off the ground. Tilt the pelvis and shorten that abdominal muscle. Here we go. Press down and lift. A little more power. Press down and lift. So if you're wearing a bikini, you want to bring the top of your bikini down and the bottom of your bikini up. Press and lift. One more time. Contract and lift. To work the abdominals, put your feet up on top of the long noodle and hold the short noodle on your hands. And here we go. Pull the rib cage to the hip bone and extend. Full range of motion. Contract, then lengthen the distance between the ribs and the hip bones, and then shorten. Contract. Relax the legs. The only reason the legs are moving is because the hip bones are pulling to the rib cage and the abdominals are contracting. Hold, lengthen, contract, lengthen. Four more here, and three, and two, and one. Now lateral bend, take the hand to the long noodle, and then the other side. Hand reaches towards the long noodle, and a little faster, take it side, and bend, and side, and bend. Try to make it a true lateral bend. So you're going directly to the side, pulling the shoulder toward the hip bone on the same side. And press. Now to increase the range of motion, you can pull the noodle, the short noodle, toward the side of the knee, holding the contraction between the rib cage and the hip bone. Four more here. And three. And one. Now bring your feet towards the center of the noodle. Take one leg and cross it over. And take the opposite hand in the direction of that knee and then open. So think of taking your rib cage to the opposite knee, which is lifted. Contract and open. So rib cage to the opposite inner thigh and then open. Full range of motion means you must open as well as contract. And lift the chest, expand the chest, contract, and open. Again, contract, and open, and contract. Now change leg, change arm, and pull the hand toward the leg. Pull the rib cage toward the inner thigh. Again, remember the rib cage is pulling toward the inner thigh of the opposite leg and open, lengthen the muscle, and contract, and open. Again, contract, and open. Contract, and open one more time. Contract, and open, and relax. And now to the side of the pool to work the lower body. Place your other hand on your hip, leg extended out to the front, slightly bent, and pull the leg straight down, and now control it up. 
and pull it straight down. Now bend the knee slightly and take it out to the front. Pull it down. Try not to move the hip bone. Just the leg with power and lift. Working gluteus maximus down. Bend and lift it up. Again, pull down and lift. Now Margaret's noodle with the extra buoyancy makes her workout a little more intense. Pull it down. And now flex the knee. Flex and straighten. Flex, straighten. Working hamstring, quadricep. Hamstring, quadricep. It's in and out and in and out. Push and pull and push and pull. Keep going. In and out. In. Try for a full range of motion. If you're unable to keep up with the tempo of the music, you're welcome to move slower. Two more. One more. And now leg down and take it out and in. Out. Now your hand is on your hip. Trying to maintain that alignment. Hips below shoulders. Knees slightly bent. Feet parallel. Get out. Now we're adding drag as well as buoyancy to really increase the resistance on the outer and inner thigh. And turn and face the other side and change feet. And take the leg straight up and pull it down. Bend the knee, now put your hand on your hip. Now keep that hip bone directly below the shoulder. Pull down to Down, two, three, four, control the lift. Pull the leg down, maintain upper body alignment. Abdominals in, chest lifted, shoulders square. And pull it down, two, three, four, and up. A little more force, a little more power as that leg lowers. And pull, and release one more time. And now, bend the knee and straighten it. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Pull it in, press it out. Try to keep your thigh stationary. Keep it going. Bend the knee, straighten the knee, and push, pull. You're working more than just those leg muscles now. Those abdominals are supporting, stabilizing. Two more, one more. Pull the leg straight down, take it out and in. Go out and in, out, in, out, and in. Try not to let that leg go too high. The buoyancy tends to take it higher than its range of, range of motion. Just up to a 45 degree angle maximum. Out, in, out, feet are parallel. Kneecaps are facing forward. How about two more? And one more, and relax, we're ready to cool down. Knees slightly bent, push the noodle to your right, and stretch. Other side, the front, and now really feel the stretch in the back of that right arm. And center, and side. And center. Now lift your right arm up and lift over to the side. And the other side. And now left arm lifts, left, now right, and up. Four more. And now press those arms back, stretching the chest, knees bent, abdominals in. And now drop the noodle behind you. Place the back of the arm on the noodle and press the arms back, stretching out the chest. And take the noodle around to the front and pick up your left foot. Place the ankle on the noodle and take the leg out to the front. And now just let your body fall forward. Sculling the water, hold the balance. Flex your foot and feel the stretch on the hamstring, the back of the knee. And if you flex that foot a little more, you'll feel it on your calf muscle. And now turn a quarter turn. And now stretching inner thigh. 
let the buoyancy of the noodle lift the leg up toward the surface. And now quarter turn, face back, bring the thighs together, stretching out the quadriceps, squeezing the cheeks together, chest lifted, and now slowly, carefully, let the leg drift back. Try to keep the hips square, abdominals tight. And turn a quarter turn, and face front, and press the noodle down, and put the right heel on top. And now, fall forward, control it, and flex the foot. Feel the stretch now in the calf muscle. And quarter turn, stretching the inner thigh. Quarter turn, bring the thighs together. And now let the leg go back. Feel the stretch in the front of the hip. Hips are square. Quarter turn. And let the foot come off the noodle and relax. 